Hello, this is a uh, quick rigging video I wanted to do for uh, a Paragua I recently finished uh, painting. I think it looks nice, I didn't do all fancy with it and do any uh, designs on the hall, but <clears throat> I am doing non-standard uh, sail placement on it. I'm going to give it a lateen rig. That's just one sail like this. And um, I'm, I'm going to also probably add a top sail up here to make its five speed make more sense because uh, typically lateen rigs in Blood and Blender would have a four inch sail speed and negative uh, zero for going windward. So uh, this is also, if you notice, I don't have any of the laser cut wood parts so I'm going to be trying to rig this with only um, the crochet yarn I have and glue. I also have uh, scissors, uh, the floss dental threading instrument because I'm going to be having putting a uh, dead eye in the front like that. So that way I can use uh, the light gunship variant um, occasionally. I don't think I will ever, but I wanted to give myself the opportunity. So to start with, I already cut out a piece of string right here. Let's see, I'm gonna get to the middle. And uh, what I'm going to do is I don't usually glue anything down when I do a ship. I just rely on the rigging to uh, hold everything in place. <clears throat> Doesn't really work with this as much because uh, this is not a firelock um, mast uh, hole right here. I didn't make it as deep uh, as usually the firelock hole holes are that will kind of hold it in place. I see it just falls over. So, I'm going to have to get creative. So to start with, I wanted to take the shrouds to the top of the mast, even though I'm going to have um, the spar that's going to hold the lateen rig uh, further down. But just, uh, it looks better. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie, I'm going to see the, the middle of this, or thereabouts, and I'm going to tie a simple knot and glue it down. Let's tie that knot. It is kind of embarrassing, but I do not um, usually do any super fancy knot tying other than on my rat lines. Um, I just, just rely on, on uh, granny knots, I guess. And this one, I want to make it into a square knot. Um, so yeah, not doing any fancy, fancy knot tying. Um, I never really got a lot of it. Like I can, I can memorize it. I'll use a, a slip line on when I'm doing um, other other types of of rigging like if I'm going to um, a slip line is really useful for when you're going to be tying um, sails for the most part um, or anything <clears throat> anything that you need to, to tighten this so whenever you do a knot uh, just to save yourself some time and effort just put a dab of just regular white glue on it not a lot. And then I usually just press it in with my finger. And that's why I got a handy towel to make sure there's not glue on my hands. Of course, I always end with a little bit. And that will make that little bit of stickiness there, it will dry eventually. But even the stickiness right now will make it so your knot will not, your knot will not, not come undone knot. So there's that. And now it will be the trickier part. 
getting it through these holes. So this is the front of the shroud. So um, I'm going to angle the knot towards the bow of the paragua. Once I get it up. And there we go. All right, that, that is looking mighty good. So now that that's there, I'm going to do a, again, just a simple knot. So these two lines being attached will not hold up the paragua by itself. So what we have to do is to to hold up the paragua, it is going to need a line from the bow. And that is going to be a little bit more complicated. So, there's that one. Kind of the thing that you have to do uh, when you're tying knots is you got to be aware of how much slack is on your line and how much you want in your line and usually want none. So be aware that that's on all ships. Just uh, be aware of how much room you have. And you know, most... Most of the knots, especially if you're using the elastic, most of the knots cannot easily be undone once you tie them. Um, with the crochet yarn, it's a little bit easier to undo a knot, but it's still hard. Okay, so now that I got these in a reasonable um, appropriation of tightness, we're going to do the square knot. Good. And then this one also. So that will lock those in there. Like I said before, we're going to add a dot of glue to make sure that it doesn't slip. Just touch away the excess. There we go. With your glue bottle, if you are using white glue, it's okay to leave it open while you're working on a project. It doesn't really uh, dry out the whole thing. Uh, it will if you leave it there for hours at a time, but you usually have enough time in the beginning. All right, so now that that is done, we're next going to go to the next most hard part is going to be yeah, adding the uh, the attachments for the forward rig. I wonder if I could Hey, 
Hey, look at that. I'll make it a little bit easier. All right. So I added uh, several additional cleats uh, to my model to make it so I can attach stuff to the Praga. Usually, um, Firelock ships do not have any cleats on them. Um, the only place that you can attach lines is to the bowsprit and the chain guards. Um, which really makes rigging hard sometimes. <laughs> uh, now for this, I'm going to have the string, my crochet yarn, is going to go around the dead eye like that and attach to either side. And then it's going to go up to the top of that. And that will give it enough forward lean that it won't. Now what I could do, what I should probably do, is instead of going around it, is I should attach it to each hole. In fact, let's do that instead. Talked myself into it. Um, so I've been working on this this spool, by the way, that I picked up for three bucks at Hobby Lobby for about a year and a half. And there's still a lot of it left. Uh, you don't really use a lot in rigging. Um, so I'm going to use the floss pick to go just through there. And let's just thread the dead eye. And then I'm going to hold one side and pull it through. All right. And now what we're going to do is just do another simple knot here. I want to position the ball of the knot at the bottom of the dead eye. You don't want it on the side or near the hole. Just like that. And then another dab of glue. Do you really want none of your knots to ever come undone? It's just not good. Okay. So now before I attach this to anything, we're going to do that with all three holes. That way we don't have to thread the dead eye while it's hanging from anything. So. This will be our next dead eye hole. Dead, dead eye, not a dead guy. We are just positioning the knot right there. You know, it's slow work doing rigging, but <clears throat> it's kind of relaxing because of it. There, and we got two now, so that will attach like that. And now we're just going to do the last one that will take us to the top of the mast. So we're just going to do a simple measurement before we want it right about here. You want some room for, for you to tie knots. So it's right about here. Because the roll is so cheap, um, do not ever worry about wasting the crochet yarn if you're going to use crochet yarn. And then we are going to tie in the knot at the same place that the uh, shroud is going to be attached. And then a little bit down 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna put part of it over the shroud line. That will help encourage tension between these two. All right. And like I said, we're gluing our knot. the dead eye. Now we got some options to look at. Um, they would usually put the dead eye pretty close to where, um, oh and I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually have to thread that from the opposite side. They'd usually have the dead eye um, close to where it was being anchored. They didn't put it up far up on the mast. So I'm going to try keeping it kind of down here. I think right about right about there. That'll look good. not gonna glue that yet just in case I don't like it um, it's always a good idea to keep your options open now I'll get through there this one they did such a good job on this cleat that it's hard to get stuff in there easily good. Let's ease up a little bit. Yeah, right about there. So an invaluable tool when you're doing this is always um, some tweezers of the amount of times you'll need yourself to do something when you don't really have the available tools or I mean your fingers are, are too big to get in there some of the times even with just rigging I'll just use the tweezers all right All right, so that, hey, look, our mast is standing on its own. That is it now. You'll notice there's a little bit of a lean forward. We're gonna, that's just the tension. We're gonna correct that by putting more tension with the back shrouds to get it to stand where we want. But let us do some cleaning now. We're only attached with a single knot.
Just a little bit of glue. Make sure the knot doesn't come undone. All right. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to trim up the lines down here. So the glue that's been attached to the chain guards or the proto chain guards is dry. So we can cut those off. And this long one over here can finally get cut off. I kept thinking it was another line. All right. And it's been long enough on this one. So we're going to now continue the shrouds. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to make it so that stays down. I could cut these off right away, but I'm going to let that glue that I added dry a little bit more. And uh, I'm not putting lines over here at all, so I don't really need to worry about it. Okay, so we're going to measure about to the top and then down. So we're looking for right about here. And it's always good to have too much than too little. Too little is a pain. All right, now because I'm just gonna go up and down, I guess I should just start at the top. Yeah. Hmm. Now a little bit of a lean. There we go. It's about even and those shrouds went to the front so this knot has to be on the back of the mast more like a knot not not put tension there that one and there's that one so by far the most important one right now is actually this back port one say this is a port this is a starboard side so it's the the back starboard side one because we need to use that tension to right the mast that's about the tension I want. There we go. Good, that works. This is the slow process of rigging. All right. I'm gonna let those. 
those. Let's tie them off. So that's our attached uh, mast. So it does, let's see, well, so there's a slight leaning forward of it. But that's perfectly fine. Let's see from here. It looks straight. That's the important part. I can put add more tension to the back through here through these lines. I don't think it needs it really. So let's glue these up. And glue this one. any glue gets anywhere you don't want it to um, you can just kind of rub it away um, it does dry clear so that's usually why I use this rather than super glue super glue has a like icing effect that uh, that never looks good all right and now that those are glued we're going to trim the front I usually don't trim super, super close because um, experience. These scissors are also terrible. Picked them up at a Goodwill and they've just not been good. This one. I'd usually be wearing uh, gloves if I was handling the model this much, um, but uh, gloves are a kind of mystery right now. All right, I'm back. I had a unexpected guest. So uh, when I left, I was looking at the ship. So you see it's uh, <clears throat> mass is staying on its own. It has a good height. The, the rake is not very far forward now. Maybe um, that is one eighth of an inch uh, derogation. At a length of one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, nine inches. <clears throat> so we're gonna call that good. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna set this aside a little bit. And we are now going to add the spar for the uh, latine. It's gonna be really easy to add this on here. We're gonna do it kind of like that uh, at a little bit of an angle. Maybe down a little bit. Okay. Kind of don't want to cross that because I could do it out. But so to do this we're going to attach a string here and a string here. Um, and then have it go up and down. So 
this is always it's usually best to do this in two segments so you get the height the the distance you want from here and then the distance down here and it's always gonna kind of kind of fall following gravity so that's what we got to worry about if you have the tartana which is the only latin rig um well other than the the uh the tartana is the only latin rig um ship that firelock has right now other than the mizzen mast on every um three mast ship that they have currently it's kind of in the ale the age before uh the buccaneer age um most ships were latin rigged uh in the mediterranean and i've read in in far firelock stuff that uh at the time the latin rig was a a little bit of a holdover of a, a byzantine age so but still it's a good uh it's a good rig for ships um it's not as fast as square sailing obviously nothing is uh putting that much that much sail um in the way that you want to go uh, is going to be fast but what the advantage of is it lets you lets you maneuver and not care about the wind as much uh, ships that are square rigged have a difficult time uh, tacking against the wind, and um, and in areas that have light wind, they're not really able to move as much. But that's also usually because of the tonnage. So looking at this, uh, that is going to be where I want that. It's going to be fun adding a top sail to this. So we are going to kind of attach this. Just set it right there. Where are those tweezers? a little bit too much there we go again when you're doing um, when you're doing rigging like this uh, you really got to be aware uh, where you're putting the knot um, because if you have it if you you tighten it and it's in front of the mast instead of behind the mast then it it will end up pulling um, your spar in that direction. So, really got to be aware. Now, I'm not going to glue that in yet, just because I need to see where the, how this is going to fall. Not, I think I think I want it um, so it's catch, catching a. Uh, yeah, I like it. I like it like that. All right, so let's add our second rig, or second line. Now I'm gonna do a, a little bit of a oblong sail on this, where instead of it being a, a right angle sail, I'm going to uh, expand it out so it goes further down on this side. I kind of like the look of that. I almost was considering just having this um, permanently with the sails up, like a lot of my other smaller crafts. Because the Paragua is great for rowing, too, especially with natives. All right, so have that. Okay, that's going to give me a length, so let's attach 
this to the end. And you just got to be aware of uh, where your knots are going, making sure they're going on top, or at least on the same side. The spars can really roll a lot when you're when you're playing with them. All right, that's there. So now I'm gonna see. So that is going to hang kind of where I want. Can you see like that? Let me let it down a little bit. It's right about there. Yeah. No. All right, try it again. There we go. You always feel, or at least I do, I always feel like my fingers are just way too big when I'm, I'm doing this rigging. Um, like I can't get I can't get my finger in there as, as much as I need to. Alright. There. Okay. So that's uh that's how that's gonna look. Nice and hanging. It'll look nice. <clears throat> and then um Man, I wish I put one on the bow, but I don't because I don't want to do that chaser that's uh, there. Let's, uh, now that we got the Latin hung, let's see if we can add some glue to it. So now that that's glued, let's trim using these terrible scissors. You always well, got to be careful with scissors too. I cannot like believe the number of times I have went to cut something and I've cut an important line and then had to to redo it. I did it once with um, a whole shroud. Oh, and that was when I, I think I was working on my brigantine. I was doing up and down on each side. <clears throat> and uh, uh, when I was trimming, not even the shroud, just a wrap line. I just cut into the shroud. Had to had to re completely redo that mast. It was not enjoyable. All right, cool. So that is our Latin rigged uh, hanging right there. Now 
Now, I think I want to do two lines from these back cliffs to the mast as well. So one going up, going down. Just easily just tie these on. I was thinking of adding some belaying pen posts to this uh, ship, the Paragua, but it's kind of a little bit tiny to, to add those. And I'm really concerned about the, uh, the amount of space inside of it too. All right, so we're going up. Let's just do Simple. So there's enough stuff here up on the mast that if I make this tight enough, it can, um, I don't have to tie a knot up here. There we go. Tighten that up. Always got to be aware of what, what way it's leaning. Yeah, See, that looks good. That looks awesome. Okay, that is looking really good for our Paragua. See, nice. If the sail was going to be uh, down like this, and then that. So the sail I intended to uh, tie off uh, right about here, having a short length going up. Um, yeah. And then maybe do a little top sail at this cross beam. Nah, that wouldn't work. I talked myself out of the top sail. Yeah. I like that. What if I do this down a little bit? have room for that top sail but that's a little bit of an unfortunate situation okay well let's let's tie off let's uh well not tie off let's uh glue these down cool then trim Perfect. That is looking great. Um, now let's add one more line coming from these uh, clefts up to the top uh, or the front of the uh, spar. For the latin so i'm just going to go up and down about this length
what this is going to do is this uh, this is going to look nice for one, and it's also going to uh, keep this spar where I want it to, so I don't really move around as much. I'll probably do a line going to the top of the back of the spar as well. There's way too much material. There. And then I'm going to do it through here. And then down. So you see me a couple times, I have wrapped the string around a one part of the wood instead of just tying. This, uh, again, you gotta, you have to worry about where it goes. Um, it's just a way to make it so it doesn't move, but without having to tie it on. So I think I want it at that distance. This is kind of where I said with the uh, belaying pens, if um, if I had belaying pens instead of clefts, uh, this part of the sail would be tied to the belaying pens instead because they were meant to, to be easily manipulated. And if you're, if you're tying a knot like that, like I just did, it's not going to be easy to easy to manipulate you'd have to you'd have to untie it every time whereas wrapping around a belaying pen would would make it that you just have to pull the pen to release the sail <clears throat> and being that this is a latin they would need to do that often uh, so so i do not like that knot right there that i just put on this side it uh looking at it there is too much slack on this side. So what I'm gonna do is I have a push pen and I am going to denot my knot before it has glue on it. You can, you can untie a knot that has glue on it pretty easily. Um, just takes a, a little bit of effort. It's usually easier just to cut, honestly. I was double honest in that. So looking at it it like that a little bit more let's go there and there yeah good now it's gonna look good While, while we think about that, I'm going to trace up to the back of the spar, right about there, there, and then coming down, So if there's fuzz like that, uh, what you do is you put some glue on your finger and you just mold it into the line. Makes it look a lot better. Yeah. So 
that's our rigging so far. Uh, again, we're going to now pull this down like that. So there's some tension in there, which will make the whole thing look good. Yeah, let's keep the glue trick. Whoa, earthquake. Uh, do the glue trick right here too. Just mold it up into the line. Some are easier than others. There we go. Alright. We got, we got a little, you know, thing going on here, but uh, I think it looks okay. Who's very kept over here? Alright, so this. Again, if I had blank pins on this, this would be four blank pins too, because not, not these, these wouldn't be blank pin lines. These lines are meant to uh, distribute the pull from the uh, from the sails. So, but this line <clears throat> that goes up to the top of the uh, spar that would be a belaying pen line. Oh no! I lost my I lost my my line. Well, that's okay. It's not a challenge if something wrong doesn't happen. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak the spar off of the front lines so I can move it over here. And then I'm going to just pull this one off. I could cut it, but with how those scissors have been acting for me, So I believe that that came loose because I cut it too close to the knot. So any sort of uh, the little bit of tension that I had on it made it slip out. That's fine.
let's come up further this way. this right about here. Only problem is it means this one's wrong. Okay. There we go. Okay, so Mistakes were made. All right, so I want to have this up quite a ways. I think I almost can use this one. Like that. So a new change is gonna happen like that. I am not going to use uh, this one though. I want to tie this in place though to keep it right here. Not tie, but glue. Maybe I can get my top sail on here. <clears throat> the only way that can really make the five movement make sense. Alright. And pull this out. Not trim quite as close. There we go. And this can stay here too. I don't see anybody. I'm not bothered by this yet. Alright. And we'll just glue this one down.
and I need one that's about two inches. So, hey, look at that. One that's about two inches. And I kind of have to gauge where it's going to be best. So I'm going to look at right about here. About where the last one was. And all right. Now to make it make sense. I really need to be tilted that way. bit and hold it in place while my left hand ties the knot. off and disaster averted for the most part for the most part so we need to slide up a little bit Now we're gluing the line to the spar to stop it from gliding. There. And then we're going to glue it back here as well and also take care of these knots. As you see, rigging is a slow process, but it's actually a lot of fun. You get to tie knots and figure stuff out. It's a lot different than painting, too. That one trimmed, and this one. Great. Okay, now we're going to see about, so I think I want to, oh. let's glue these two to the mast. Those don't slide. There we are. All right, so now this one, this is going to be our here. Nice and round. Pull it down like that. 
just gonna ease up. There we go. Great. Now let's turn our attentions to the front. Now these uh, are just long enough actually to do what we want to do again. Uh, loop. And in front of the knot this time. and easy. And the intent was to have maybe shorter on that side. through this cleat there and tie a knot Very nice. So there's some play to the rigging with uh, with these type of knots that with just the loop uh, that we did, and I'll be able to attach my square sail right there. So to finish off, let's uh, add some dot drops of glue.